Okay, that, uh, that intro to the show finished a little short, but... Oh well. I've been doing this by myself for 102 episodes. No, 101 episodes. I forgot what else I was going to say. So, for whatever reason, uh, Live Producer is being a DINGUS! So, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Whatever reason. Hmm. I I'm just going to keep checking in periodically on the, uh, the comments and hope that some come through. But uh, if not, you know, no big deal. I mean... I'll see these, uh, I'll see what you write eventually, and hopefully there will be nice things. So tonight I am drawing some cartoon characters you've never heard of, unless you're a cartoon addict like me, or other people. So, the Van Buren Studio was around and then it wasn't it made some cartoons that uh that were at one time meant to rival disney but they couldn't hold the candle to them uh some of their uh best known characters were molly moo cow uh don dog and waffles the cat uh, Tom and Jerry, not the cat and mouse duo, but uh, Mutt and Jeff ripoffs. And essentially, uh, Don Dog and Waffles the Cat are also Mutt and Jeff uh, ripoffs, <laughs> to a degree. If you don't know who Mutt and Jeff are, they're cartoon characters. They were successful comic strip at uh, the turn of the. 20th century. Uh, incidentally, the uh, the ones that um, the characters that uh, that won in the uh, the voting were uh, the Van Buren, Tom and Jerry, and Don Dog and Waffles the Cat. And uh, why I have no idea. I I I would have been um, very happy to draw Molly Moo Cow. I think I'm one of the few people on Earth that uh, that likes that character, other than Tommy Stathis. Hi, Nick. Nick, a longtime uh, watcher of the uh, the series, is here. Now let's start some music and uh, let's get into it, shall we? I got my reference material here. This is what uh, Tom and Jerry look like, obviously. Um, I've seen a handful of them. They're uh, they're not bad, but well, you know. I mean, hey, I digress. You know, we 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 love, and I know uh, Jerry Beck uh, when he visited um, Tommy here in New York, uh, he was um, kind of goofing on uh, Tommy's show. He's like, oh yeah, Tommy Jose Stathis presents every Van Buren cartoon that I own. <laughs> Yeah, Molly's fun. I mean, bland is all hell, but you know what? Yeah, it's fine. Cow with butterfly wing. Incidentally, you are not going to see any, uh... Wait a minute, I'm, I'm not on camera here. No, oh, I believe that. Some home movie re-releases of it. Yeah, there were also uh, some uh, redrawn cartoons that were made in uh, the 30s with them that were actually, I never say this about redrawn cartoons, um, they were done somewhat tastefully, dare I say it. But at the same time, I, I, I'm just putting it out there. Redrawn cartoons are almost never a good idea. I said there was going to be some drawing, right? Right. So... Yeah.
gonna start with uh, Jerry of the uh, Van Buren, Tom and Jerry, doing something. Decisions, decisions. Ah. He's clearly not happy about something. Well, we're gonna shift him off to the side. such I, I mean I don't know man I don't know I, I'm I if for some strange reason now I'm thinking of the uh, the, the the wonderful and uh, totally not family friendly um, web series Sonic for hire in all its non-family oriented brilliance. people are watching us. All right, we got like five people watching. That's that's always a good thing.
I owe it to myself and the rest of you fine people to make even the blandest looking characters look pretty and amusing. At least as much as they can be. After all, I didn't design them. And just so everyone knows, I I am not just ripping up these cartoons a new one because I hate them. I like them, but at the same time, they're kind of easy to make fun of. I mean, I, uh, I did an episode over the summer it was over some kind of uh, break in between something I can't remember what and I just drew uh, obscure Looney Tunes characters uh, wrestling <laughs> because why not <laughs> So, we're going to have these, uh, these guys showing off goat yoga. Or some nonsense, I don't know. Let me see. In uh, the past two weeks, I have uh, penciled about 14 pages in um, the upcoming uh, Lucky Zilla number 20, which is due out in less than uh, two months.
I'll have him picking his nose or something. Hi, Crystal. Yes, yes, I'm back. I'm back with a drawsome amount of vengeance. Creative vengeance or, or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Don Dog look really chubby. funny you say that because the uh, the Lucky Zilla comic that I'm working on now I've been doing the pencils with actual pencils and one of the reasons why is as you can see it's taken me a hell of a long time to um excuse <sighs> me to, uh, to do these roughs digitally, but the reason why is I am so spoiled by this. I have the undo button, I can move things here, I can move things there, whereas on paper with pencil, I don't have that. And it just kind of forces me to think fast, act fast, you know, just do it without having to wait for anything to show up. Or any lag, which happens, but, um, you know, um, and as such, I'm maybe not as critical as I would be working on my tablet, but, uh, you know, I've actually considered... Uh, doing an episode where I just do all my roughs in pencil and then take a picture, copy and paste it from uh, Google Photos, and then just uh, ink it from there. But I haven't done that only because I'm not quite sure how I would do it. I have a glass table over there, but...
have him uh, making a slapping gesture. Because why not? see what episode was it it i i actually have done a uh, a lion king episode just trying to remember give me a second go yoga <laughs> I'm doing a Van Buren episode with 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 goat yoga. Like who would have thunk? Let's see now. episode was called In the Jungle, the Mighty Jungle. Uh, season 1, episode 15. Yep. Yeah, I drew uh, Simba in episode 15, and... Uh, Oh no, wait a minute. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, no, no. Forget what I just said. On that episode, I drew uh, King Louie from the Jungle Book and George of the Jungle. Let's see. Where Can You See Lions? That's season two. That's Episode 41, where I drew uh, Simba and Lion-O. And on episode 54, which is also in season 2, Give the Bird, Get the Bird, I drew Zazu and Big Bird. Hang on just a second, I'll put it in the... Uh, in the chat. is for 
or can you save lions? Episode 54. Give the bird. Get the bird. No problem, Crystal. Okies. And now, back to the travesty already in progress. You know, I don't want to group that yet. Because... Because we're going to have the goat eating some of the dude's underwear. Well, as, as the, uh, the song says, if you want to see lions, you're going to have to go to Kenya and forget Norway. I, I dare YouTube to give me a copyright strike for that. Because that, that would be just trivial and stupid, but, you know, whatever. say that I'm drawing these in any particular style. Uh, truth be told about the uh, the Van Buren studio as I learned from uh, a friend who does podcast called Cartoon Logic, Thad Komorowski. Um, the cartoons were so interchangeable that even the artists working on them didn't know the names of most of the characters. They're just like, oh yeah, I'm drawing that guy, I'm, I'm, I'm working on that picture today. Alright, alright, fine. They, uh, they did an episode most recently about the Van Buren studio, and I I'm sorry to say I'm mooching off of their <laughs> success. No, nah, but I mean, in all honesty, they, they got me thinking, you know, are the Van Buren characters worth doing a Dresden Draws episode about? Seeing as I had nothing planned for this episode, and I was originally going to take this week off, I just threw all caution to the wind against my better judgment and was like, Eh, all right, fine. I'm entitled to do that every once in a while.
Van Buren cartoons with better anatomy. <laughs> I spent 40 minutes on this crap. <laughs> I know it sounds like, a, again, uh, that I'm, you know, uh, bad mouthing these cartoons, but no, it's it, it's it's because I can. It's called ribbing. I think I'm gonna watch a handful of them before I go to bed. The uh, the girlfriend is uh, still at work. I um, I want to make a quick uh, PSA. Oh, I use uh, Adobe Illustrator. I believe now you can actually get. Um, Illustrator on the iPad. I mean, if you have Procreate, I, I think that's a, um... Hi, Kelly. I think that's, uh... That's got vector capabilities already, so... Yeah, definitely check out Illustrator. I don't think it's terribly expensive on the iPad, but... I don't know. I have an iPad 2. That's almost 10 years old. And I haven't turned it on in about, oh, say a year and a half. I'd be damned if it still works. And of course Dresden draws his back. I've been back, well, for one week, but, well, you know. Better be careful there. I don't want to make it seem like he's putting his hands in his pants. That would be very inappropriate. I mean, much more inappropriate than him uh, picking his nose. <laughs> There is a good amount of subversive humor in the uh, the Van Buren cartoons, but you'd have to see them in order to know what I'm talking about. There's some stuff in there that uh, that'll really make you wonder, like who was who was okaying this stuff. Oh, this is, um, I'm working on a, uh, a big screen tablet. Let me see if I can get a quick shot of it. Hang on. This is a Cintiq 22HD. It comes with its own pen. The, uh, I believe this is the Wacom Pro Pen. So I readjust my camera. Now back to the draw cam. Whoa! Hello. Okay. No, no, no not at all. Uh, 
You'll get there. Animation is a great field. It's very tough because it's very labor intensive, but I did it for 20 years. I do comics now because, I don't know, I kind of like having eyesight, but uh, for anyone that is younger than me, animation is, um, it's definitely worth doing. I'm going to give uh, Waffles the cat here a uh, bit of a, like, roughed up ear. Sort of like my cat, Boston. Now, you ask uh, good questions, Crystal. Now, there, there, there have been people on this show that, uh, that either... Uh, hawk a bunch of merchandise that is not Dresden Draws related, not even art related. And um, there have also been those that, uh, that just keep asking, oh, can you draw this for me for free? No, nah, we don't do that here on Dresden Draws. He'll get there. It'll be fun. Looks mad.
Now we're gonna leave the tail off. Physically, I don't think it would it would uh, work well there. All right. Now all we got to do is get the Jerry situated. Hello, Jay. Oh, wonderful. I'm so glad. Let, let me know how, uh, how she likes it. I'm sure she will. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm glad I was able to uh, provide some insight. And um, if she has any questions, I'll do the best I can to uh, answer them. And uh, she's obviously... Everyone is welcome to watch uh, Dresden Draws. Give her... Give all of you a little bit of uh, pointers now and again on things to consider and and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I'm glad that uh, that worked out, man. That's 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 wonderful. Sometimes I wonder what I'm getting for Christmas, but then I don't because it's usually stuff that I need. It's always a good thing. Twinkle Little Star on Dresden Draws. I think we're a bit um, more advanced than that. first Van Buren cartoon that I think I ever saw was their uh, short-lived uh, Felix the Cat series, uh, Neptune Nonsense, released in 1936. And that was around the period where they brought in uh, Burt Gillette 
from the Disney studio to uh, basically um, head up the uh, the studio with Tom Palmer. And uh, he was known for being a uh, notorious control freak. He was somewhat bipolar. And uh, he was also known for going extraordinarily over budget, which is not a good thing in the animation business. Alright, now for the coloring stage. Oh, this, this episode's gonna be about half the length of uh, the last one. No big deal, I'm probably just gonna pass out afterwards. For a split second, I thought that uh, that I wasn't on the uh, the right screen to be streaming. That would have been interesting. Actually, it wouldn't have been. It would have been very embarrassing. But you get the idea. Hi, Zach. like notifications that pop up on my computer while I am doing Dresden Draws. It's so obnoxious old balls. I don't like it.
Let's see now. This is probably, I think I can safely say that this is the only Don and Waffles fan art in existence. Nobody cares about these characters. Disappeared long ago. I don't even care about these characters. Other than how I'm drawing them here. It should be obvious, otherwise I wouldn't be drawing them. There we go. <sighs> I was just testing you guys. I wasn't actually falling asleep. Let's be real here. I wouldn't do that. Not in the middle of my own show. Come on now.
let's see now. Let's add some dialogue. This font, Might Makes Right, is available from Blambot.com. It is used in the Luckyzilla comic strips and comic book magazines. I just heard a very strange sound. I couldn't tell if it was a car that is in desperate need of a muffler change or a car with um, someone throwing fireworks out of it. In this day and age, it's hard to tell. <sighs> Anyways.
we add shadows? Yeah, maybe. Okay. I can never make up my mind about some of the camera angles here. Hmm. I'd say this turned out better than expected. But, you know, why not? <sighs> oh, give me. All right, what century is it? Let's get back to the present. sound as always all right now before we end the show some ads as per usual we offer birthday parties and corporate events for more details and or to reserve message us or visit us at dresdenmedia.com we still have lucky zilla the game plentifully available on luckyzilla.com and of course there's uh there's more lucky news to go around there is a blu-ray and dvd set featuring new restorations of classic lucky shorts such as atomics and all in a day's work on dvd and blu-ray before i go further with that kevin shrek your Blu-ray is in the mail. I've been tracking it. If there's any problems, I will let you know ahead of time, or I will deliver it to you myself. If for whatever reason the uh, the post office decides to... Um... <sighs> but, at the same time, I, uh, I'm, I'm so glad to uh, have sold a couple of these things. But again, whoops, Lucky Zilla on DVD and Blu-ray, a celebration of Lucky Zilla in honor of his 25th anniversary this year. And this wouldn't be a series of Lucky Zilla ads without more Lucky Zilla. Feed your imagination and take flight with Lucky Zilla comic magazines and new comic strips weekly. Get them on LuckyZilla.com. I'd say that's about all for now. Till next time, next week, stay drawsome.
<laughs> oh, excuse me. All right, yeah, that's. No. Oh! You didn't hear me burp, did you? Oh, that's embarrassing. As my editor would say, God, that's rude.